Hi, we're Matt and Johnny from Brothers Make, and today we're going to show you how to install the Van Vault slider. We've recently bought a VW Transporter to convert into a camper van, and this slider will give us some perfect, invaluable, secure storage. It's also going to double up as a multifunctional surface that we can build the rest of the conversion around. To kick off the install, you'll first want to remove that inner drawer. This can be done by pushing the levers on the two drawer runners and sliding them all the way back so that you can remove the drawer. You can then pop it to one side for now. The slider has 10 pre-drilled fixing points on the underside. These are evenly spaced across the base to give you a range of options when it comes to drilling locations. If you haven't done it already, you want to clear out your van as much as possible to give you the best possible access for the install. In our case, we also need to remove the spare wheel to give us full access to the underside of the van. It also makes life a little bit easier if you can raise your vehicle up. Here we're using some specialised vehicle ramps to do this. Next up, you'll want to lift your van vault into the rough location that you're going to put it. Don't forget to consider what you might want to put on top or to the side and think about any floor obstructions or linings that you might want to add. You might need to be slightly flexible on this position depending on the fixing points available on your vehicle. Once you have the slider in place, just open and close it a few times to make sure it's not hitting into anything that it shouldn't. In our case, there was a piece of trim that was stopping the drawer from opening fully. An easy fix for this is to add a spacer. So we just cut a piece of plywood down to the same size as the slider and added that in underneath. This actually comes in handy because it doubles up as a drilling template once you've copied across all of those drilling locations. If you don't need a spacer, you may still find it useful to make a drilling template out of cardboard as this is a lot easier to move around and fine tune your final position. Once you're happy with the position, you need to check which four holes you can use for the fixing point. Once under the vehicle, we used a few different reference points such as the back of the bumper and the wheel arches to determine the first safe drilling point. And once we had this, we were able to approximate the other locations using a tape measure. Just make sure you avoid any structural elements, welded spots or other major parts such as the fuel tank, brake hoses or electrical wires. What you're looking for are clear spots in the metal surface to drill into. We found that we could use these four holes for our install, so we marked them through using that drilling template that we made earlier. If you aren't using a template, then you'll just have to mark these holes using the base itself. Once you have them marked, drill a small pilot hole and check the location again to make sure it's suitable. If you're happy with how it's looking, you can do this again for the remaining holes. If you do find that your original location isn't suitable or can't be reached with the bolts, then you will have to relocate the unit. If all the holes are clear of risks, then you can go ahead and drill your 10mm mounting holes. Once drilled, make sure you remove any sharp burrs and clean away any debris. To protect the new bare metal, you want to treat each hole with some iron oxide on the top and the bottom surface. Once dry, add some sealant to each hole and place your spacer back in position if you're using one like we are. Line up the slider unit back on top and then remove the drawer in the same way that we did earlier on. The Van Vault slider comes with an installation kit which contains all of the hardware that you need to secure it in place. Firstly, you want to take out the bolts add some sealant to each one, and then knock them into place. You'll then want to add some sealant to the underside of the bolts as well, once they've come through. The installation kit comes with shear nuts, which are a security nut designed to shear off once the correct tension is reached. This provides a permanent fastening, which is extremely difficult to remove once installed. Use a socket set to tighten the shear nuts on the underside of your vehicle, whilst holding the bolt steady from the top with a spanner. As the name implies, the top of the nut will shear away. Once you've repeated this on all four fixing points, you can reinstall the drawer. To ensure the longevity of the slider, it's a good idea to oil both the lock and the runners. So there you have it, your slider is now installed and ready to be put to use. We haven't started the rest of the conversion yet, but the slider has already seen loads of use so far. Whether it's to securely store our camera gear, our tools or our camping equipment, the big capacity of the slider has proven to be super useful. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the Van Vault YouTube channel. And if you want to see more of us, head over to our channel, it's Brothers Make. See you later.